tourists riding on elephants. The national parks of Chituan and Gaziranga can be visited by anyone willing to sit atop the king of the jungle emulating Hannibal himself. Since at least 2000 BC, elephants have been tamed and trained by man for construction, transport and war. Now, 4,000 years later, there is still no more comfortable, safe and cheap means of transport on which to explore the jungles of the unicorn. Up here, the visitors are safe from tigers and have a superb view of their surroundings. And thanks to this new ecotourism, the ancient tradition of the mahouts, the carers and drivers of these pachyderms is being preserved precisely at the time when traditional uses are in decline. These men and their animals form close lifelong bonds from the time the elephant is very young. This way, traveling around on the back of an elephant has become a new source of income for the local population. And this benefits not only the rhinoceros and the tiger, but the elephant itself, along with the ancient tradition of training them. They are not noisy, do not contaminate, and when they stop working, they can be recycled. And what is more important, the other inhabitants of the jungle are used to their presence, and so they do not frighten or disturb them. Precisely because of these advantages, men in the past used them to hunt down the rhinos. But, as in many parts of the world, the Indians and Nepalese have realized that a live rhinoceros brings much more income than a dead one. A good trophy satisfies just a single hunter, while a live specimen can attract hundreds of amateur photographers. For the short-sighted unicorn, this is simply an elephant with something strange on its back, maybe parasites but in any case, totally inoffensive. Thanks to the elephant, we have been able to enter the world of the unicorn, a world whose nightmares have not changed much despite the passing of time. The belief in the supposed medicinal powers of the rhinoceros horn still remains in traditional Asian medicine, and so illegal trading can generate enormous profits. In Bangkok, a kilo of Indian rhinoceros horn costs over $16,000. And in a region where poverty is rife, the temptation to poach is enormous. The magic horn which made it a legend almost led it to join the dinosaurs, the dodo and the mammoth in the book of extinct species. But these people are saving them. New generations of visitors who come here not to kill, but simply as a break from routine. Curious travelers willing to pay to catch a glimpse of a legend. A small army that comes in peace and sleeps, eats, drinks and buys souvenirs here, thereby repaying the local population for their efforts to preserve the nature of their land. 
26 years ago, Chitwan received fewer than 1,000 visitors. Today, over 100,000 come every year. 50% of the income generated by the park is used for the development of the human settlements around it, and people are encouraged to actively participate in conservation, training as wardens, guides, maintenance and catering staff. The charges for entering and camping in the park, the price of elephant tours and lodging and permits generate increasing income, making the local people more and more convinced that they are fortunate in having a national park on their doorstep. The informed visitor eagerly seeks out the most characteristic, distinguishing cultural traits of each region, appreciating not only nature, but also local customs and folklore. The crackle of a campfire in the forests of Asia is still something that many are willing to pay for. Perhaps it was all true. Perhaps this is the magic of the unicorn. Night is drawing in around the Himalayas. Mist descends over the jungle where the last Indian rhinoceroses live. The adult female and her child, who brings hope for the species, are heading into the thick of the jungle to spend the night. And another warden comes on duty. For some, a green hell. For others, the mythological forest inhabited by celestial creatures and unicorns, a place which holds an incredible fascination for all. When the sun goes down, the sounds change, the spirits of the night awake to wonder in the moonlight. That is how the legend was born. With the translucent wings of the bats, perhaps under the effects of a fever, but it was here by the Brahmaputra. It was all true. This is the home of an incredible animal with a single horn emerging from its forehead, which can cure all the evils of the poor peoples with whom it shares this land. being capable of attracting people from all over the world simply in the hope of seeing it. The legend did not lie. The unicorn exists.